Massive earthquakes hit California's Mojave Desert on the 4th of July. And just hours later, an even bigger one hit on Friday. RT correspondent Natasha Sweet is live in Los Angeles, where many people felt the quakes and the aftershocks. Natasha, have you stopped quaking over there? Yeah, you know what, Scotty? There have been hundreds of aftershocks felt from Sacramento to Mexico. And according to seismologists, Friday's tremor was the largest to hit California in the past 20 years. We had bottles all over the place for the first quake. Uh, this second quake kind of shocked me. Massive cleanup is underway in the small town of Trona, about 150 miles east of Los Angeles. On the 4th of July, a 6.4 magnitude earthquake hit, and Friday, a magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck near the small town of Ridgecrest. The quakes buckled highways and ruptured gas lines that sparked several house fires. Officials say 50 homes in Trona were damaged. No one was killed or seriously injured. With some roofs caving in, people with damaged homes began sleeping in tents outside. You don't notice the damage until you open that door. Governor Gavin Newsom thanked President Trump for his outreach as the two began working to ignite federal emergency funding. He estimates more than $100 million in economic damages. We don't agree on everything, but one area where there's no politics, where we've worked extraordinarily well together, is on emergency uh, response and recovery. You can see a restaurant in Orange County feeling the earthquake Friday night, and baseball fans also felt the quake during Friday's Dodger game. Yeah, I felt it. I was sitting in my seat. I, I felt like everything went quiet, and we were just moving. The, the whole crowd kind of silenced. Uh, we were actually right behind the cameraman at the game, and even he observed the crowd as it was taking place. So it was, it was pretty cool and scary at the same time. Experts are urging residents to be prepared. One should always be prepared for a big one. This does not make it less likely. Lucy Jones, a seismologist with the U.S. Geological Survey, says in the past two decades, Southern California residents have been experiencing a quiet time in California history. Well, the governor says that this type of emergency could leave residents without emergency responders for at least 72 hours. So, of course, having enough food, water, medicine, and pet supplies is something for residents to think about. Scotty. Thank you, Natasha, and stay safe out there in California. Hey, YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.